This is going to be an Ender 3 uh, print review video. I am just going to go through. I'm going to show you guys all the prints that I made recently, uh, the last few ones that I have here at my house. And I'm just going to try to get some close up videos for you guys so you guys can see the detail that this printer can print at. And just so you guys can really see, okay, well, if I buy this, what am I getting out of this? What are my prints going to look like? Is it worth the money? I will say for this one, the little spots around the eyes, I had some supports on there. That is more just because I didn't uh, clean it up properly yet. And the hands and the feet, I accidentally snapped off. So that is not the printer's fault. That is actually my fault. And I just haven't got around to fixing this yet. Um, overall, still pretty happy with it. This is one that I painted. Do not mind the eyes. The eyes are a little bit creepy right now. It looks a little bit better from far away. But I uh, just wanted to show you um, this one because I think it turned out really nicely. Um, even painting it. I'm not an expert painter. I'm a terrible painter. And I feel like it turned out pretty well. I think this one really shows the precision that the printer can perform with. If you look at the gears, the gears are just so precise and uh, very, uh, very sharp. And I, yeah, I'm very impressed with the gears. This thing was actually crazy. When this thing printed out, um, it was rock hard. And I feel like I could have thrown this at a wall as hard as I could. And it probably would have broke, but I would have had to throw it as hard as I could to break it. Um, this thing was just so sturdy so so sturdy honestly like if I dropped it I don't think anything would happen to it this is a little piece for my Arduino Uno um, Again, I just think the pre uh, precision of uh, this piece kind of demonstrates how good the printer is. This one too, I need to clean up the supports. There were supports on his face. There are supports still on his back and sides. Um, so don't mind those little pieces. Those are from the supports. I haven't fully cleaned those off yet. Um, overall, just look at the, you know, look at the robe, the designs on the robe, the swirly designs on the robe, which is really cool on the bottom, the swirly designs. I think the helmet turned out really well. Um, yeah. And then I did print these two miniatures for my brother. Um, one of his friends made them in a 3D program called Blender, and uh, I wanted to print them out for them. They were supposed to be kind of like, um, like parodies of themselves as, you know, cartoon characters. So I printed them out, and I was actually really happy with them. The pieces were very tiny, as you can see. Uh, in my fingers how tiny they are and they printed fine they printed very quickly and I didn't really have any issues with them um, so I was super happy with that super super happy with that I also did print an ocarina for my brother's friend because he's a big Zelda fan so um, I actually don't have a video of the ocarina but um, I was super happy with the ocarina the ocarina is another one where I pulled it out and I could I was so surprised with how solid it was I could have threw it at somebody and knocked them out with it. It was as hard as a rock. So I was super happy with the ocarina. It played really well. The high notes were kind of hard to hit, but I think that was more user error than anything. Um, so it was very functional. It was super, super functional. Um, so I literally printed an instrument with this $150 printer. Um, super happy with this thing. But, uh, yeah, overall, super, super great beginner printer. I will have a more in-depth video about the Ender 3 review later at some point for you guys to check out so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you guys uh, found the video useful i hope you guys enjoyed the prints that i made and i will see you guys on a later video bye